Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and also welcome to the ultimate guide for crafting all the satchel upgrades in the game. So in this video I'm going to be showing you all the requirements, the animal locations, the sweet spots for clean kills and also I'm going to leave a link in the description for a heat map to animal locations because of people being in different chapters. And there will also be timestamps for every different animal. So coming over to see Pearson if we go into the crafting upgrades there is seven different satchels in this game with the legend of the east satchel being the very last one and you have to craft all previous satchels to unlock it and as you can see i already have the valuable satchel but i will still be going through that with you guys so first up is the tonic satchel and in order to unlock it for crafting you are going to need to purchase the leather working tools and upgrade the medicine wagon twice which can both be done through the ledger in camp next to the contribution box and the recipe is a perfect deer pal a perfect buck pal and a perfect elk pal a lot of the satchels require deer pal so i'm not going to go through deers multiple times just to show you for each of the satchels so any of the animals you need there will be a link in the description to the time of the video where I show you how to get the perfect pelt for that specific animal. Okay so we've got our very first animal which is a white tailed deer and I'm going to use the lasso for as many animals as possible because it's a guaranteed perfect pelt as long as it's a free star. And if you need more information about hunting, there is an in-depth guide which teaches you how to find animals that are going to have a perfect pelt on them. So it's going to skin this deer. And there we go, there is a perfect deer pelt. Definitely use the lasso and depending on console, use left trigger or L2 to hold the lasso in place on the animal whilst you're walking towards it and then it'll be B or circle for the kill and that counts as a clean kill every time with the lasso and I forgot to show you the location of this deer and I can't remember exactly where it was I think it's, yeah that's it over here so if I quickly show you the map it was right here on the road that we managed to kill it but it was somewhere around here that we found it Although with deer, you're not likely going to need to know a specific location. They are very, very common on this game. And we found a buck. And we found it here on the map. Right. This is a two-star elk. We need it to be three-star, but this is just to show you that you can lasso them as well. So just to show you, this is a rocky mountain bull elk. And we are here on the map. I started chasing this thing around here somewhere. Bearing in mind you can only equip one satchel at a time and that's why by the end of this video you guys will know how to get the Legend of the East because that satchel greatly expands the carrying capacity for all item types. With valuables it goes from 5 to 10 and this just says that it increases the carrying capacity so I'm also interested to see the Legend of the East says greatly expands, so I'm not sure. The valuable satchel goes from 5 to 10 items, so you can carry 10 gold pocket watches, stuff like that. Whereas the Legend of the East says greatly, so it might be more. We don't know, that's something we're going to have to find out. Moving on, the ingredients satchel. I already have badger pelts, but because we haven't done that in this video, we will go and get a perfect badger pelt. Deer we've already done, so I'm going to pick one of them up. And a squirrel I will show you as well. Every satchel requires that you purchase the leather working tools and along with that for the ingredients satchel you need to donate 5 animal carcasses to Pearson. Okay so we found an American badger. If I quickly show you on the map we are right around here. If we zoom out that is all the way down the south, south of Braithwaite Manor and they should be around this area here. So for squirrels, you're going to need small game arrows. They're an absolute must because anything that does more damage than those are going to decrease the quality of the pelt. If we open up our satchel and we head to documents, we have recipe pamphlets and then we have small game arrow pamphlet. So taking a look, you need a normal arrow, a feather and a shotgun shell casing. And what you want to do is 
set down a campfire so if we jump off the horse quickly if you bring up your weapon wheel right bumper it's at the bottom under the crafting section you can make a camp when your camp is up and you're sitting by it you can press x or square on playstation to begin crafting slash cooking and you have all the ingredients it's going to let you craft the small game arrows in order to get feathers that are used for crafting small game arrows all you got to do is look in the sky, find some birds and shoot them down, then use your minimap in the bottom left to find out where they landed, go over to them and pluck their feathers. So squirrels are an absolute nightmare to find. They are pretty common as you'll see on the heat map, but finding them is the hard part because they're such small little animals and you have to be bang on. As you would have seen from that dead eye, I took my time with it. I've actually used my entire core just because you have to hit them in the head. That is the sweet spot. And because they're so small, that makes it even harder. But there's the three star perfect squirrel pelt. It doesn't matter which species it is. Now onto the kit satchel. To unlock it, you're going to need to donate three valuables to the camp. And the recipe is perfect deer, elk, and panther pelts. So even though it's not a perfect pelt, it's poor because of the amount of times I shot it, we managed to find a panther around this area of the map, which is right down on the southeast side, just southeast of Braithwaite Manor. So just listen for the panthers making noises and follow the general direction of where you hear the noise and you will eventually come across it. One shot to the head with a rifle will kill it and it counts as a clean kill. So if it's a free star and you've studied them, it's going to be a perfect pelt. For the provision satchel, you need to upgrade the provisions wagon twice, which can be done through the ledger. And the recipe for this satchel is perfect deer, bison and raccoon pelts. So with the bison, we've just killed the American bison. We got a headshot on it with the rare rolling block rifle. But I believe you can use any other rifle to kill it. And we're going to skin it. The headshot is a clean kill. So it doesn't damage the pelt. And there is a lot of skin to take off this bison. Just under the H of New Hanover, west of Emerald Ranch, there is bisons around there. For the raccoon, you're going to want to use the varmint rifle. And you can see the free star, that is going to give us the perfect raccoon pelt. And the raccoon I found was just southeast of Rhodes where my crosshair is now. Now we're onto the material satchel, and the requirement to unlock this is that you need to craft three recipes at the scout fire. If you don't know how to find the scout fire in your camp, all you have to do is back out of the satchel upgrades, go down to scout campfire, and then it's going to show you whereabouts in the camp it actually is. The recipe for the material satchel is a perfect deer, boar and iguana pelt. This is the boar, which you can lasso and get the clean kill. And after lassoing the freestyle wild boar, we have ourselves a perfect boar pelt. And looking on the map, I found it right down here. It was around this sort of area and I've had to track it all the way down to here. But don't forget there is a heat map linked in the description that will show you the locations of all animals. I'm just showing you the locations I find mine when I kill them for this video. So the Iguana, if you haven't discovered the entire map, is only available in one location from the beginning of the game. And I'm currently down here because my camp is set up here. And I managed to find a boat here. But we are going all the way up to here, so obviously it's going to take me a long time to get there. I probably could have come to here to get a boat or somewhere like this sort of area. But I was already down here seeing as my camp's there. So I've taken a bite from here and we're just going to take a nice little stroll up there. I've never personally seen an iguana on this game because I've never gone to that island and I haven't explored the entire map. 
But if you're going to this island, you're not going to be able to take your horse. So I'm taking the varmint rifle and the bow. So this is the first iguana I've ever seen on this game. And the varmint rifle is what you want to use because I studied it. And it's now gone into the compendium. And we're just going to get a little headshot on you. Hopefully that's the sweet spot. You're not exactly fast. There we go, perfect. So we're going to skin you. Three stars and that is the perfect pelt. Now the valuable satchel. To unlock this for crafting, you need to donate $50 to the camp. And the recipe is a perfect deer, beaver and rabbit pelt. And here's a little bonus when you're going for beavers. There is a chest here and if you open it up there's some bitters, there's a silver pocket watch and there's a large jewellery bag in it. I don't know if there's any other treasure around here so far. But if you look at the map, we are opposite the A in Kamasa River. And as you would have seen there, that was the perfect beaver pelt. Use the varmint rifle for that one. And I always use Deadeye because you have to constantly run up and down the rivers. There's only two places the beavers actually spawn on the entire game. One of them places being also the home of the legendary beaver. But you can see the carcass there, that is where we got the perfect beaver pelt from. All up and down Kamasa River, you are going to find beavers. Not all the time are they going to be three star. Okay, so we're up here just southeast of the Iron Amberino. And we found ourselves a rabbit, which was three star. And as you would have seen, I shot it with the Varmint rifle. I strongly recommend you buy that rifle from the gunsmith. I think it's less than $100, so it's not expensive at all. And for small game like rabbits, beavers, stuff like that, it's a very good weapon to have because nine times out of ten, it gives you the clean kill. So you can see here that it's a three star black tailed jackrabbit. And on the heat map, they are pretty much all over the map. You've just got to be lucky enough to find them. They shouldn't be that difficult. They will run across roads and stuff like that. So if we skin him, we're going to put that pelt into our bag. And that's another example of the freestyle rabbit pelt. You've just got to use the varmint rifle. There's not really a sweet spot for it. And last but not least, we have the Legend of the East satchel. The requirement for this is only that you craft every other satchel in the game. And the recipe is a perfect deer, cougar and wolf pelt. With all animals, try and use Deadeye to make sure you get that perfect shot on their head. Because anywhere below the head, even if you hit the neck on some animals, it's not going to count as a clean kill. And it will just lower the quality of the pelt. So the cougar reminds me a lot of the panther in terms of only spawning around other animals and sort of like being the predator of the area. So they will come after you. You don't really hunt for them that much. And also it feels very much like the iguana in terms of rarity if you haven't explored the entire map. But let's skin this one and then I'll show you on the map where I found it. So right here on the roadside is where I found it. There's the image for it, so it's around this sort of area. With the cougar, what you want to do is use dead eye because they will be trying to kill you and aim for somewhere around the head. Use a rifle and put express bullets if you have them because you need as much damage as you can because it's a very big, tough animal. You're going to need all that damage you can get. I was using the Springfield rifle with express rounds and that has almost maximum damage. Okay, so for the wolves, they come in packs, so I don't recommend taking your horse, but obviously I just got jumped by these two. Then any rifle, I'm using the Springfield with express rounds. And just a shot, try and aim for the head. This one's a two, I don't know if that was originally a two star, but this one over here. You don't really get the time unless you're scouting from far away with binoculars or your rifle scope to actually check the star rating. So luckily enough, this one was a free star. So we're going to skin it, and then I'll show you where we are on the map. And we're all the way up here. You can see there's wolves here and here, I believe they're both wolves. 
I set the waypoint to there because that's where I was heading. But we managed to come across a couple just south of the word river in Little Creek River. And that is the closest town is Strawberry, which is just south, as you can see there. And there we have it. Perfect deer, cougar and wolf pelts. We have now crafted the Legend of the East satchel. So we can now carry 99 of every single different item in the game. Valuables, provisions, materials, kit, everything. Literally we have a 99 capacity of every item. That was the ultimate guide for crafting every satchel upgrade in the game. Remember there is timestamps and also a link to the heat map for animal locations in the description if you're stuck. Any questions or anything else you want to know about this game, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. That is the end of the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.